Greetings everyone and welcome on back to another episode of Minecrafting with Ultra. I am Ultra. I hope y'all are doing well today. I am doing pretty good myself. Just chilling out here, taking a stroll down the old Barbie Memorial Highway that we created last episode. And I think this turned out super, super nice. I'm really, really happy with the way the path came out. And what I want to do today is focus our efforts down these little side paths here, where they lead to these little pits that we have in the ground here. We've got this one here, and we've got this one over here. And also last episode, we connected the two of them up with this tunnel down here. And I think today might be the day where we finally come through and make these things look nice after we sleep. I love love the way that this area is coming together, but in my opinion, this cliff right here has kind of been a weird little elephant in the room. On one hand, it looks pretty cool. I do think it looks pretty daggum cool sticking out here over this little pond. But on the other hand, I think we can make it look even better with just a little bit of work. This is something that I've been wanting to do genuinely since I started this world. I thought this was one of the coolest features of the landscape around here, and I just haven't gotten around to it until now. So that changes today. Today, we fix it. And the first thing we're gonna need to do is get rid of all the stuff that's in here. We'll go ahead and clear all this stuff out of here and get it right on out of our daggum way that we, we have a nice blank slate to work with. And then after that, I think I want to talk a little bit about terraforming and kind of how I would go about a project like this. There, that lets us see much more clearly kind of what we've got to work with. I got rid of all the, I got rid of all the bamboo and all the trees and stuff that were down here. And I also went along the edge and I kind of cleaned that up a bit too. There was some floating dirt blocks up in here that I got rid of and stuff like that. I peeled all the vines off the walls. That way we could see everything. Went through and I lit up caves and stuff like that. I put some torches around. That way we didn't have to worry about monsters. And I also did the same thing over here, over on this other one. And this one, I don't think is gonna be quite as visually striking as the other one. This one doesn't have the cool cliff that's gonna hang out over it, but we'll still do some fun stuff with this one over here. And I think just having this little tunnel here and having them connected will be kind of neat. So now that we can see what we're working with, I think the next thing we're gonna wanna do is kind of finalize cleaning this up and get a good shape of what we want to see with our end product. And one thing we'll do to help with that is we'll fill in little spots like this, little holes like this that I don't really need. This doesn't go anywhere. This isn't gonna add anything to the build. I don't need to leave this open for anything. I can just plug it up with some stone and move on with my date. And see, we don't even have to miss it. We can do the same thing over here with this guy. And I think I'll go up there and plug that one up as well. This little spot over here, I'm gonna do a little bit different. I'm gonna do the same concept, but instead of using the stone, I'm just gonna use my dirt. Much better. Now, I think I wanna get rid of these walls that kind of separate the water. I think I want the water to flood this whole area down here. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Smarter idea, much bigger brain idea incoming. We're actually gonna use these walls. Whoops, not like that. We're gonna use these walls. Not like that. Just get you right out of my hand. We're gonna use these walls to help us flood the rest of this. It was at this moment he realized Minecraft water mechanics were very, very dumb. This is a mess. This is a nightmare. This is an absolute nightmare. We are going back to the drawing board. And by drawing board, I mean sponges. That's right, we're gonna get rid of all the water too. And then when we're done, we're gonna bring it all back. There, that looks better already, doesn't it? I'm joking, it's an absolute train wreck and we will fix it. I forgot how dumb it was to try and do literally anything with water in this game. So I figured, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and get rid of the water just like we got rid of everything else and we can start from scratch. But now that the water's gone, now we need to get rid of the dirt walls. And I'll take my daggum sponges back too. There, see? Even better already. I did lose a sponge somewhere along the way. That's kind of a bummer. I'm not too pleased about that. But I think this is going to make it even easier to work with this space kind of in the long run. I didn't worry about anything down here. That's too much water to worry about. I'm not going to worry about that. I think this will be the bottom kind of of our cenote right here. I think that'll be plenty deep enough. And now that the water's out of our way, that'll actually give us some room to do a bit more kind of fun stuff down in here, down in the bottom. And for that, we're going to actually need a bottom. So I went through with my mud blocks and I laid out exactly how deep I wanted this thing to be. And then I went through and I replaced all of the grass and dirt and stuff like that with mud too, just so it looked kind of cohesive down here. You see, now it's really starting to take shape down here. You can really start to tell 
what we're working with and what we're going for. We've got this deeper pool that's going to be down here and we'll have another kind of a shallower pool here and then it'll gradually get shallower as it works its way up towards the cave here. But I think the next thing I want to do to help us get a better visual on this place even more is work kind of along near the bottom of these cliffs where all this random grass and dirt and stuff is. I want to get rid of all of that. These two mud blocks up here represent where the water line was and that's where I want to put it back when I'm done. So all the dirt and grass and stuff that's going to be below the water line, I want to actually replace with tough. Something kind of like that. Actually, why don't we just get rid of you? But kind of like that right there. And the reason we went for tough down here is because this is going to be part, we're going to do a gradient on these walls to make these cliffs kind of look a bit more interesting when we're done. And we're gonna do like a dark to light kind of thing as we go up and the tough is kind of part of that. But before we proceed with that, we're not quite ready to, to keep going with the walls and the gradient. We have to address this little spot right here. I still don't want all that dirt and stuff there. I think it looks a little weird. And the tough is kind of right around the water line. And what we're gonna replace that with up there is gonna be stone. And I think that looks much better. Again, we'll be changing that eventually once we get more into the gradient of the walls. But for now, that cleans this place up pretty nicely. It's looking better already. But one thing I'm thinking is this sticks out a little bit too far. We're gonna have to give this thing a bit of a trim here at the end, I think. There, that's a bit better. And we will be kind of thickening it up a bit here with the stone eventually. But for now, I think it just looked like it was sticking out a little bit too far. It didn't look to me like it would be hanging up there very realistically. So we shortened it up and I think that is much better. Okay, next thing we want to do is come up here near the edge where the stone meets the dirt. And we can actually make this look a little bit better simply by popping it out a couple blocks right where it right where it right where it meets like right whoop, like right in here we can go ahead and put some dirt uh, just like that so we bump it out just a little bit we bump it out by a layer and see here's another spot where we put a little bit there just like that and then maybe we'll round it out a little bit make it look a little bit more more natural if we can you can even have some kind of hanging down maybe like that and all we're doing is just kind of giving it depth where it doesn't have any Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's not so bad. See, I think that is better than that. But you don't have to just use dirt for 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 depth and to kind of give definition to your cliff's edge. Another thing you can do is with your stone and kind of come up here to the top. And it's a nice thing, I think, if you just kind of cover that, cover that, cover that, cover that. But if you have your stone actually come up just a little bit above the grass, maybe like that, and then we'll come back through later with some stairs and some slabs and stuff and 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 give it a bit more shape, but have it bump up just a block or two, maybe above the grass. Maybe we'll have it cut back in there. And over here, we'll do the same thing. We'll just bump it up, bump that stone up. And actually, I don't know, we'll get rid of you two. Okay, and then this brings me over to this hill here. And this was something that I wanted to talk about. I didn't do this specifically last episode because I wanted to talk about it with this. But first, let's go down. Let's look at what we did with our stone just now. See? Doesn't that look cool? So you don't have to just do the dirt bump outs and I, I need to do it still a bit there. I'll do a bit more, but I just wanted to show that you could do just a couple different things, real simple, just dirt, just stone. And I think it makes it look a lot better, but coming back up here to the hill. So there's a few things that I don't like as you come up the path here. And, and, and mostly it's just this, how tall of just a steep kind of dirt thing we've got going on there. And we've got another one going on over here. So the way I like to look at this is kind of, if we imagine it from the side and we imagine each line of blocks as like their own kind of slice, right? We got a slice here, slice here, slice here, and a slice there. Gotta go to sleep. So what I like to do is identify the slices. Like I don't like this slice here where it's like there's dirt, there's dirt, there's grass, there's podzo. This is a weird slice here. And it does a nice thing for us. It connects. We've got a hard line here with the stone and the dirt connecting here, which we don't like. We were breaking up hard lines with our dirt over there. And it also kind of disappears into here. So this is a nice little slice Whoops, to actually get rid of. And just this slice, just this line of blocks here and we're gonna replace it with stone. Now, what we can do, just like what we were doing around the corner, is we can bring our stone up to kind of hide. Instead of using dirt, we'll use stone to bring it up and we'll raise this slice to a point that it blocks out kind of that ugly dirt transition and it blends nicely kind of in, it disappears nicely in here and it disappears nicely back into this. We can maybe put like a stair or something here eventually, but 
I think that's kind of a nice way to hide those 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 sharp transitions in between elevations. And if we do the same thing over here, I would say this slice here, this is a weird slice and we can just kind of yoink. Gone. And then if we put stone like this, maybe we bring it down here and then maybe we bring it up a little bit too. And again, we'll round it out with some stairs and slabs and stuff like that. But look at that. Isn't that better already? Makes it look like there's a little hill and there's some dirt kind of sticking out of it. Maybe even I don't like that. So we can just put a stone there. Huh? Simple things and they make them they make a big difference in my opinion. This side isn't so bad. See this side has a nice smooth kind of transition down. Same with this side. It's a bit steeper of an angle over here, but it doesn't have the sharp kind of two block elevation change. I don't know. Hopefully you know what I mean. Hopefully that makes sense. That was my attempt at doing like a terrain like tips. That was tips and tr tips and tricks. That was terrain tips and tricks when with ultra. Terrain tips and trick terrain tips and tricks when you're dealing with elevation changes with ultra. I'm still working on the name, but hopefully you learned something. Also, it's the next day and I've been doing more of what I've been talking about with the dirt and the stone and the stuff like that. And now if we come down in here, it looks like this. Check it out. I brought the dirt around in different spots and I did introduce some some of the, the rooted dirt as well as some coarse dirt in there. I put the coarse dirt kind of on the bottom so that it was darker, so that it looked like it was kind of shadowed, and then the rooted dirt is lighter, so I put that on the top, so it looks like the light would be hitting that, you know? And I did that around in a couple of different spots, and then I also brought, like we brought the stone up over here, I did that over here on this side as well, kind of where I brought the stone up, even with the land and even above it, in some spots like there, and I did the same thing kind of over here. I think that looks pretty cool. I think that's a nice way to kind of hide your cliff edge or kind of blend it into the terrain around it. Also, you might notice that I traded out the, the grass blocks on the overhang for stone, and I'm still going to shape that out a little bit more, but that's just kind of adding stairs and slabs and stuff like that. Same thing down here. I do want to add slabs and stairs and stuff to kind of smooth this out, but that's not the point for right now. I think the next thing I'm going to do is hang like some rooted, some of the little roots down underneath it. And I might even do some, get some leaf blocks and hang like some bush over the edge to make it look like some vines coming down. Maybe sprinkle some bone meal around up here around the top. And then after that, I'm just going to continue this gradient up. And like I said, that's going to be, I'm going to start like dark and I'm going to work my way up to lighter blocks as I go up near the top. But I feel like there's not really much I can say about that other than just kind of doing it. So I'm saving that. For the time lapse. Another thing I'm saving is this little tunnel in here, as well as this entire side over here. Look, this this side I haven't done anything with. I did take out a couple trees and stuff like that. There was a jungle tree here, and I got rid of that. But I still have to do this whole side here. I kind of wanted to talk about the the terraforming stuff though with you guys, and hopefully maybe you learned a thing or two. Yeah, quite the difference coming from that side to this side. So I have a lot of work to do, and I think the best way for me to get it done is going to be in the form of a time lapse. I have some splaining to do. You see, we got the thing done. I did the thing, but I also messed up a couple things. First thing I messed up was this, this structure right here. I wanted to have kind of like a covered little area to sit in and chill. And I'm not going to lie to you. This is not my favorite thing that I've ever built. And this is probably going to change in the very near future. I do like the idea of it. I like having a little bench 
down here i think that's a nice little spot where you can come and you kind of just sit and look over you know out at the place and the idea behind like the overall look of it was i wanted it to kind of feel similar to the subscriber palace that we've got going on over that way so i wanted to keep kind of some of those same elements but to me it just looks kind of uninspired i don't know i don't know what it is about it but it just doesn't sit right with me and we're gonna change that but how about our little enclosures isn't this cute i have whoops I have very specifically not shown you anything from that one over there yet because that's the really cool one, but I think these things turned out pretty cool. The Wandering Trader thinks so as well. So we are going to be putting my little axolotl buddies. I got a couple axolotl buddies that I've been carrying around in my purse for a while and they're going to live in here. And I think that there's nowhere that they can get out over here. I think everywhere is at least kind of a block up out of the water or blocked off so that they can't climb up. But we'll see how that goes. The next thing I messed up was the water. The water in the time lapse. You may have noticed at a particular point in the time lapse that the water kind of just appeared. Or maybe you didn't notice. Hopefully you didn't notice. I tried to include it in a way that you wouldn't notice. So I'm pointing it out now so that you do notice. But I complained so much about the water and taking the water out and how much of a pain in the butt it was to do stuff with water. And you know what? Putting the water back in was actually probably one of the easiest parts. What I did was I took my little bucket and I just went kind of layer by layer. I did the deepest little layer, a little one block deep layer. And then I did the next layer up and the next layer up and just layer by layer. But as I went along the edges doing bucket, 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 bucket of water, like once I got around to a certain point, it would just kind of start filling itself. Like the water sources would start connecting and start spreading across. So not only was the water super, super easy, but it also would have made for like a super, super satisfying part of the time lapse. But your boy forgot to hit record. So that was that. Yeah, we went from no water to all the water in the blink of an eye because I I still don't know what I'm doing after almost like 55 episodes I still don't know what I'm doing but are you guys ready to see cool side over yonder ways let's go over yonder ways so if we come over this way here we come across I made this little Tory gate kind of a thing kind of a cute one different to the other ones we've been making this one's smaller but it fits in here really well I think and then we've got this little viewing port there's a glimpse of it there you haven't seen the whole thing yet but this kind of wraps around it goes around this way and it gives you kind of access to it here and look here's another glimpse <gasps> he's avoiding showing you one part though pretty nice pretty nice so far i like it i like it you like it it's okay if you like it then if we look oh there it is it's like a lion king kind of circle of life kind of moment you know what i'm saying where you hold your little baby up over the edge and that turned out pretty cool i think that turned out pretty cool i tried to use like the the darker blocks under here to make it look like a shadow but we've still got our gradient that kind of goes up kind of around on the outside and there's nothing up top we're gonna do something up top maybe next episode or the episode after that i'm not sure yet i do have plans for up there but down here looks pretty cool and i actually use that same trick in here i don't know how easy it is to tell but up there it's acacia logs just to make it look extra dark up top i wanted this to have like that dark kind of creepy spooky vibe going on in here look at that sunset we're gonna have to get some work done on that thing at some point in time but for now i'm having fun i hope you guys are too and now for the fun part and also i turn my i turn my shaders off that way you guys can see it kind of with both views too but i've been carrying these guys around for a while i've got bucket of axolotl here but Nordolotl and Dovolotl have been with us since like the very beginning of this world and they've been in my purse and I've been meaning to build them an enclosure and this has always been intended to be their enclosure and I just haven't gotten around to it until now but with that being said y'all be free I said be free why won't you be free be free be free there they go look how happy they are Aww. Now, hopefully they don't figure out a way out. As long as they don't get out, I think we'll be good. That's it though. What do you guys think? You'll have to let me know what you think of the 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 the, the cenote that we built, the little area that we got going on down here, the little spooky little cave that we got going on. I think they turned out pretty cool. I think that's a nice little landmark kind of feature for the area to have too. Yeah, it looks really cool. It's gonna look even better when we get the thing on top, but that'll be for another episode. Today's episode is over. Thank you guys so, so much for sticking around this far if you're still here you're the best make sure and leave a like on the video if you did like the video and subscribe if you really like the video and you want to come back and maybe watch another one i would really appreciate it it really helps out the channel so thank you again so so much for watching and i will see you guys next time